Another set of data that we'll look at briefly here, and, and John is going to help show a demo of the system looking at more of the data. Uh, you may or may not be familiar of this Tennessee challenge problem. Eastman, uh, Tennessee Eastman was a part of Eastman Kodak uh, quite a few years ago now, but it, they, they ultimately had some process conditions. Here's a description of the, the process. So there are multiple different feeds going into a reactor with a condenser, um, a stripper, and the different products were, were shown over here. And there were different problems that were happening in their process, and they, they evaluated initially ways to improve the control algorithms to make the process be fault redundant. But a process monitor was able to show that there were things were happening. It really wasn't a, a control problem. There were just some basic equipment problems that needed to be fixed. And again, the, the beauty of, of using this system was you're able to look at the data relatively quickly, evaluate the problem, and display what's going on, what happened wrong. Here's an example where, in this case, here's, here's the different orders. Uh, the, lots of different batches of chemical were made. And one of them that was in uh, alarm was the condenser cooling temperature. So again, this is similar as one you saw before. There are control chart limits here for most of the batches. And there's one that was a lot higher than the other. So as the median temperature was and again, it's not a huge, it's, only, it's less than a degree, diff degree different, but it's, it is higher. And then in this case, we've highlighted the four batches that are shown here, the red, black, green, and blue. And here are the time traces for each of those batches. And again, this displays that this blue batch, something was happening different. And ultimately it was a condenser valve was sticking. So it, would, it was jerky basically and causing a problem. and some of the word in here. So it's, it's a quick way, ultimately, you know there's a alarm, you look at the, the parameters that are in alarm, look at the control chart, and then look at other batches, and you can see what was abnormal. So it was a problem that if you're just looking at time traces for a bunch of parameters, this is very difficult. But here it's, it's quite simple to find out what was happening. This is a, this another data set, but the information is shown a little bit differently. It's a multivariate analysis of, of the problem. And in this case, uh, it's, it's, a, the, it's a 3D plot of the multivariate parameter. And in this case, all of the abnormal multivariate parameters are outside of the ellipsoid that's shown here. And then directly below that shows the different parameters that played character, a larger contributions in making that value abnormal. So what you, what you do in the program is you basically just click on this bar and that takes you down to show you what, what was actually happening here. And similar to this as the other ones we looked at, there's one that's out uh, quite a ways and it shows in this case, the valve opened up in the middle of the batch and was wide open for, for a significant period of time where the ones that were normally uh, operating at the position that they normally run around 40%. Again, it's, it's something abnormal. You go to the parameter that shows what's abnormal in, in a global term here in, in the multivariate parameter, then it zeroes in on the actual 